jumping down at the lake. And Emmy is still sleeping, um, a little swimmer fish. So I hope she sleeps in and then we'll head back and meet everyone down at the lake for the rest of the weekend. So happy Super Saturday, everybody. It's willpower. Uh, got some lots of fresh info to share and pour into everyone today. Let's just start by just warming up. We're going to take just classic willpower today. After a warm up, we're going to do a little plank where I want to share um, a passage I read this morning. I like to do a little morning reading and, um, and then we'll get into about 25 minutes of flow, just steady state cardio. Uh, well, power feels good. It powers you up for the weekend. Gets your mind right, right? We only have class once a week. Try to have some special info to share and soak in. Christina, are you back from your trip? Good morning, Shelly, Amanda. No, Christina's in Mexico. Definitely not in Washington. There is sunshine in the ocean behind her. Definitely not in Washington, but Gladys might be logging in from Washington. Uh, it's actually kind of chilly here today. Um, and then take it to the other side. So this is a barefoot focused class. If you're comfortable, um, this is a good class to start barefooting because it's low impact. You can always start uh, working out barefoot is like any other muscle. You build those little muscles up, lift it up, massage it out. Uh, so fun to see all you friends on Saturday morning. Lisa, are you back? Oh, Jamie, looks like you're at home. I was gonna say, I'm gonna see you back at the lake later today. <laughs> it's summer, you never know where anyone's coming from. Hi, Michelle. All right, lift the bottom of your foot off the floor. And just kind of think, what do you need from this class today? Maybe it's just to move your body, to hear some positive words, to do some squats. Maybe you need to push it a little bit more. Whatever you need out of this class, it's your, you're the one in the driver's seat in control. I want you to have a good time, good experience. And then lift the heel, lift the heel. Uh, yes, almost 25 of us, who else just came in? Hi, Cleo, Lisa. Uh, all right, we're gonna walk it out. I had to, um, I'm, this is a theme that's really big on my heart the last year or so, and it came up in my morning reading. So I wanna, Read it to you all while you're in plank, and then we'll get into the cardio. So go ahead. If you're not going to come down to plank, I would like you to hold um, to hold chair pose here. Uh, all right. And the rest of us, uh, walk it out to plank, and I'll come on up. This won't take very long. Yes, nice, Jamie. There you go, Cleo. Like I said, oh, Lisa, looks like you're back home. Hold chair pose if you're not coming into plank. And I love this concept and whatever, take this in whatever context um, works for you. But I truly believe this, that God has given each of you a gift. He has given you a gift from his variety of spiritual gifts. We must use them to serve one another. Um, <clears throat> you can't always be what you want to be, but you can be what you're called to be. What do you love doing and do well? Is music your forte, crunching numbers? working with kids. The spirit has given each of, each of us a special way of serving. Um, that dispels the misconception that you're not valuable because you don't have the same talents others do. It also defines your responsibility by doing away with the myth that you're supposed to do everything. Your goal should be to stay within the boundaries of the plan for you. So today, I love this, instead of apologizing for skills you don't have, Unpack the gift God has given you and put it to work. So what is your special gift? I truly believe everybody has a special gift and we can get caught in comparison and um, all those other things. And if we tune into what our plan is, you get to serve others and it's a lot better for everyone. So come on up out of that. And with that, we'll begin our willpower flow. Morning, Nana. Oh, I haven't done willpower for a couple of weeks, so I'm going to be feeling this one too. So I just love that concept. I've been working with it with my kids too, right? Nobody's good at everything. We all have different things we enjoy that we're good at, um, that we have special gifts with. Uh, oh, and real quick, keep going with the squats. Those of you that come to my Thursday morning class, you've met Richard 
everybody else. This is Richard, as my kids call him. He was giving us my Lindy. Uh, Liz knows Richard well. She's all, and he has to say this morning, he's in rough shape, but he's still showing up. You have to believe in yourself every moment of every day. <laughs> yeah, there. See, he's so perfect for me fit. You have to believe in yourself every moment of every day. It's funny because the trainers, uh, Lindsay Barksdale gave that to me from the trainers, and Weston found him and started playing with him. And one of his little things is, hi, I'm Richard, because Weston doesn't know who Richard Simmons is. And um, so the kids just keep calling him Richard, and then they play with him too rough, and his head's come off, and his, he's had a rough couple of weeks, but he's still kicking, and he still talks, and he's funny. I couldn't find his body the other day. Yes, Letty, you know Richard too from my, all right, spread it out. Okay, I shared earlier today, we're in, we're just talking, this is willpower. Again, go, just follow along, a couple more squats. I didn't forget you here. Three, two, one. Um, I shared earlier in the week, I've been trying to kind of push myself to share something like publicly on our Facebook page. Um, once a week and you know as much as you're like how could that be scary for you you don't mind putting yourself out there but it's different when it's with like a big audience and um, but i'm trying to push past that fear because it's serving others right sharing something positive something motivational hoping to inspire somebody to do something good for themselves so we're in swim season mode here at my house um my nine-year-old just loves to swim. She tells me that's her gift God gave her. She told me, <laughs> I said, okay, I'm going to serve others with that. I mean, but you go with it. That's good. That's good. All right, here we go. Step it out. Bring it in. Um, and my six-year-old swims too, but um, <laughs> I don't think it's his passion. He's, he's a little bit <laughs> more hesitant on it, but he's funny. So we're, but I love, I talk about this a lot because I did not grow up swimming. It's not like my sport. I'm not pushing my daughter to do it. It is like truly her passion. And all of you that have kids and have raised kids, um, it's really cool. It's one of my favorite parts of parenthood. When you see something that like lights up in them and they're really passionate about it and they're willing to put in the work, right? Um, the hard work. And that's why you end up driving those long distances or giving up some of your weekends for them um, because it's cool. It's special. It's a sacred time. So hold it out. And also found, finding that balance, right? Of having family time, still doing things. Woo. So this week I shared three takeaways from um, our swim meet last weekend. Three things my daughter taught me. But I'm going to expand it because. We went to a swim meet yesterday. We just went to one day of it at an Olympic sized pool. Oh my gosh, you talk about kids looking like little, we call them little sharks in a big pond. Like an Olympic sized pool is massive. Um, hold it down, pulse. And Emmy and her little friend Chloe are the only, not, they were eight last year, but they're the only nine year old kids that like really <laughs> like competing at that level. Um, they want to do it. And so I was like, okay, I'll go with you. Um, so cool to watch. I mean, man, I don't know if I could even swim one length of that pool. Um, and they're swimming against a lot, a lot of kids that compete year round, like really crazy. Um, two, one, lift. So I'll, I'll share, and this will transfer. This isn't just about swimming. This is why I share um, the things that I'm learning through this sport really a cool sport and the reason i'm i'm really loving swimming it's a team sport and it's an individual sport so that's really cool you get both components of it um you're trying to better your score but you're also part of a team so it's really cool two all right hold it up all right so the first thing i didn't share this in my other one is and you all do this today you have to sign up and start. You have to challenge yourself. You have to put something on. I always talk about this with BFIT from day one. You had to sign up for classes, right? I think there's a really important level to that in sticking to something. 
being able to be accountable and sign up. So Emmy asked me, I wasn't gonna put her in the race this weekend because I wanted to go camping. Um, two, and then it got cold, one. All right, hold it back. Okay, here you are, you're on the starting blocks, pretend, or the beginning of a race, or the beginning of a game, or an event, and the, the starting bell goes off, and you're going to hold it, try to stick it right here, boom, beautiful, Jamie, yes, nice, Vicky, yeah, Lauren, gorgeous, okay, one more time, someone false started, you get to do it again, oh my gosh, on a side note, pulse it for a when someone falls starts in swimming, they have their cap on so they can't hear everything. This poor little kid yesterday swam a whole length of the pool because they fall started and they didn't hear. And that's like 50 yards. I was like, oh my gosh, poor little thing. All right, one more time. Ready? On, get set, go. Boom, focus. Yes, Karen, that was awesome. Nice, Alice. Bloody, beautiful Morgan. All right, we're gonna take it over to the right. So one of the things, again, a reminder, actually I didn't learn this because I knew this, but we've got to sign up. We've got to put something on the book. So remember that. Um, it's better to sign up, especially at VFIT, it's better to sign up for more classes and try to make it than to not sign up because you're afraid you're not going to make it. Right? You don't get on an naughty list around here if you don't make it. There we go. Who else? Jan, good morning. There you are, Arlene. Beautiful Gladys. Oh my God, Christina. How did you not take me? I go, I go warm tropical places at the beach. That's like my thing. Three, two, nice. One more. One. All right. Step it out. Bring it back. All right. This is the one I did share. I share it often. We're doing it in willpower. And that is the notion that repetition, say this to yourself over and over, repetition produces results. It is so true with everything, right? Um, I think about teaching Weston to read this year, how, how hard that is. Um, but we, most of us aren't just born super good at things. Like, I'm pretty sure we all had to learn to walk and we all fell a lot along the way, right? And you kept getting up because you're a kid and you haven't been tarnished and you don't, you believe I can just keep getting up. Take that, take what a kid has about not giving up and repetition. Again, learning to crawl, learning to walk. I tell the story and I'm gonna tell it again um, about Emmy. Woo, yes, this is good team, nice and sharp. We're just flowing. We feel good. Our blood is pumping. We're almost halfway through class. Let me check in on my zones. Um, we all have something that's harder for us, right? There's certain things that just come that more naturally and some things that are really hard. Two, one, hold this one out. Down and up. Your weight is even here between both legs. It's in the first front heel, ball the back foot. So, um, oh, perfect, Jan. Oh, I didn't know. Yes, just join us. I love that. Jan is here. She had knee surgery. I know. I'm like, this is probably one of the classes that's harder to modify, but you are a rock star. Um, and it's good to just listen. So, right, there's things that come more naturally to us. Some things we have to work harder at. Embrace those things you have to work harder at. And this is a huge lesson Emmy recently taught me. So she's been swimming for a couple of years. She's, and I don't say it just to say it, she's like, a, she's a pretty good swimmer. But breaststroke was, was, that's that word yet, right? It's kind of like was, her nemesis. It's like so technical. I don't know what she, she yesterday she told me it was so cute. Uh, all right, here we go. We're at the starting gates. Ooh, you get one chance to practice right here. Right here, up here. Yes, nice, Sydney. Yes, Kelly. Imagine it's humid out there. All right, take it again. Get one more try. Sharp, yes, Clea. Get it, Gladys. Here we go, Sina. Boom. Yes, that was awesome. Whew, nice, bloody Liz. Okay, we're gonna take it to the left. So <laughs> this stroke has been just 
I've, I've said it and I won't point it. I mean, just really hard. She just, she told me last night because she did really well this year. She's doing amazing at breaststroke. It's like her best stroke. Um, it came with two years of DQing almost every breaststroke race she did. And she told me last night, I wish I could have recorded her. Mom, I'm so glad I had all those DQs, disqualifications, meaning you don't even get a time. Um, you like, you're just, poor little kid gets a yellow slip and you don't get a time. She told me, I'm so glad, because as a mama bear, you wanna be like, oh, that wasn't real. You didn't actually mess up. Um, all right, double squat, let's go. She said last night, it was like 10.30 at night. She's so cute. I can't believe she's still awake. And she said, I'm so glad. May we all use this mentality. This is what's gonna get us all to continue to progress. I am so glad I got every DQ slip that I did, mom. I think I made every mistake you could make in breaststroke over those two years. And now I know everything not to do. And it clicked this year. She is on fire with that stroke and it took having to work through all that pain and that disappointment, right? I think that's something we don't allow enough of. Disappointment. Sure, it sucks, it's hard, but it is such a reality of life. It's where we grow, it's where we get stronger. We don't need to shield everybody and everything from any disappointment. It is a human um, emotion. It's a good thing to work through. All right, here we go. Down and up, down and up. It was funny though, cause she, it, it gets in our head. And even she swam the race, she got first in her heat, two big laps. So a four laps in the pool, it was a hundred yard breaststroke. She's never done that before. And she even told me when she first got out, cause right, stuff gets ingrained in our head. Mom, I think I DQ'd. And I'm like, no, your coach thought you looked great. I thought you looked great. It was like kind of still in her head. I'm just going to DQ. And then when she got that time, the pride, that's what, I, that's what I mean. That pride of having to work through something hard and put in the time and effort. So maybe there's something in your life right now that you need to work a little harder, put a little more repetition in, a little more diligence. Two, one. All right, we're gonna turn it out. Doing good team, we're just flowing. Look at this, nice on the my zone. We've got 10 more minutes. Oh. You know what they did for their warm up yesterday? I'm laughing because it's a, such a thing my daughter would do. She put on a Tabata song and she did a little swimming warm up to a Tabata song. I was like, that's my girl. All right, how are we doing, Arlene? Yes, Cleo, Jan, doing good, Michelle? Um, okay, so lesson, no, we're only at lesson two. Heather, get going. Okay, so sign up, hold yourself accountable, put it on the calendar, have something to work towards. It doesn't have to be like a big thing. It could be just class, right? Every day you're training for life. Uh, repetition produces results. All right, here we go. We're gonna step it back, take it down. Got a little plie set here. Straight down in the plie, squeeze. There you go, beautiful Amanda. Looking good, Shelly. Oh, I love it, a lot of you are traveling, Jan. Pam just did it a 75 mile hut to hut bike. Uh, it wasn't really a race, but it was epic out in Colorado. Hard, she was training for it. She was on my team, I knew the work she was doing. Um, all right, two. One, hands out. Okay, this is a good one. This is one, kind of goes along with that disappointment, but fear. Remember, I always teach the kids, and I bring, not just my kids when I'm doing PE, fear, nerves, use that as fuel. When you're scared, when you're nervous, that means you care. That's super important. If I would be so, I tell Emmy, oh my God, I would. It'd be really sad if you weren't nervous or scared. You're getting up on the blocks in front of an Olympic sized pool and hundreds of people. Dang right, that's scary. Um, use those butterflies, they really help you. They're your power, your motor. But on the other side of that fear, and we're usually fear, afraid of failing, not being the best. That's silly fear. It doesn't have to be that. Um, 
is where the fruit is, the fulfillment, the pride, right? Because you worked for it. Here we go, down and up, down and up. So without a doubt, it's like the same, the same song and dance. Emmy wants to drop out of the race right before she swims it. She's scared. And we talk through it. We have a little prayer, actually. Uh, she sings. And uh, she says, it's cute. It says, swim fast, swim straight. Don't look. Have fun. God's with you. And she has to say it before every race. It's really cute. Um, here we go. Down and up. And then on the other side, think about something you were scared of. Maybe you were false with something health-wise, a surgery, a scary diagnosis. Um, so something tough in life, like this isn't just sports related. Fear, something new for the first time. Um, fear is really scary from far away. Ooh, it's even scary up close. All right, we're gonna curtsy. Um, we're face to face with it. All right, when we get to the other side, I look at Arlena, I look at so many warriors in here. We rely on our 100% track record of making it through. So next time you're really scared of something, whether you choose that challenge or it chose you, remember, you can do it. You can get to the other side of it. You so far have every single time or you wouldn't be here right now. All right, this is one I learned yesterday, a new one. Not that I learned, but that I like got inspiration from. I call it in business, Stay in your own lane. But in life or in sports, I'm going to call it run your own race. That goes back to what I read in the beginning. You are you. You're not there. Yes, competition is fine. Pushing ourselves is fine. Obviously, it's fun to win, uh, but that is not what defines you. It's not what's going to define your life for the most 99.9% .9 of us. So run your own race. Do the things that fill you up. Be around the people you love. Um, that's what I love about swimming. You, once you get times, they're in the system. So every time you're at a meet, it's your time against what you did the time before. Um, you're comparing yourself to yourself. And that's a really important thing. We can tend to get in that comparison game, which is my next one, um, right? Ooh, two, one. So this is what we must practice. It's very hard in life with everything that's thrown at us all the time. Um, social media, everything being so instant. Um, it's hard to stay in your own lane, run your own race. But that's when it comes back to you are unique. You are you. You are built for a reason that somebody else doesn't have. So stay tuned into that. I think that's so important. Uh, nice. Three, two, one. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Curtsy. Almost there, team. We're doing a good climb. Doing good up in the all the colors of the my zone. Um, which so run your own race led me to the back side of this. Comparison, you've all heard this quote, it's a good one though, is the thief of joy. When you can do something so good and be so proud and like, yes, I knocked it out of the park. And then you find something or someone to compare it to. And oh my gosh, it can take away all your joy. Like that scale, that, that's kind of a thief of comparison. Get on the scale if it doesn't give you the number you like. Guess what? All your hard work, all of the feeling good, it's robbed away from you that you're letting that number define you. No, no, no. So don't do that. Here we go. Take it over. Take it up. Do not let comparison, because it goes back to that same premise from the beginning of class. There's only one you. If you get caught up comparing yourself, wanting to run someone else's race, be someone else's gift, do it all, it's going to take a lot of your joy and presence in life. So um, that's something about swimming. It's You can feel so proud and just continue to focus on your race and not comparing to what place 
you get it. And that's always that next question. What place did I come in? Where did I? I'm like, you knocked 30 seconds off your time. That, that was incredible. That's what's important. And here we go. As we almost round that willpower. Two, one. We're going to finish with the Tabata set of power knees. Um, my sixth and final takeaway, and quite possibly the most important, is it's always with friends, right? You're not there to compete with your friends. Um, you're there just like in these classes. It's so fun to show up and see everybody working hard, smiling, right? We're not competing against each other. We're here lifting one another up. That's what we need more of out here. And I'll just share the cute little, keep going, a little picture of Emmy and her little swim bestie. And they literally have so much fun together. It makes it such a joy. There's no competition between them. It's pure joy. Maybe a little competition, but two, one. All right, grab a sip of water. Whew. We're gonna finish strong. And a reminder, I'll fit grade everyone after this a little email. Yango is coming. Signups are coming in hot. Um, Yango is, talk about all these things in one. Yango is fun with friends. It's setting yourself up for success. It's repetition. It's um, finding what you want to do every day off the list. Yango is so fun. Please, it's less than two weeks. Oh, we'll have to do it. All right, here we go, Lauren. We're doing power knees. We're going to do two sets on each side. And you guys hear it? Yes. All right, right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun, friends. Three, two, one. Uh, members, it's $29. So it's not 
um, and you get that pass to share. So you can invite a friend and they get 21 days of eFit too. So we just really want to spread. The theme is called Celebrate More. It's a, I can't, it's, uh, I'll announce it probably Monday, but the board is super fun. We like to celebrate around here. All right, come on up. Celebrate more, 21 days in July. I picked that month on purpose because yes, you can. Yango is super fun. Yes, ladies. Oh, we got the science to come in. Good, I'm excited. My goal is 100. I'm putting it out there. You got to put it out there. It's going to happen. We're at, I think, 20. Awesome, Christina. Go take a swan dive into the ocean. It's cold here. Karen's got the breeze. All right, we'll, we'll be doing mostly upper body in um, Sculpt coming up next. Have fun, girls, out in North Carolina. Have a good day, everyone. Bye, Sina. Bye. Oh, yeah, Richard, does he have anything, any parting words? Loving yourself is one of the most important things in the world. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Bye.